Hello everyone! This is the first video of a series that I'm calling Photography is Easy, where I'll try to debunk 10 common myths about photography. This series is based on my latest ebook of the same name that you can download for free from my website. I'm gonna leave the link down below in the description. The first myth that we're gonna talk about today is a go manual or go home. Somehow there is this belief out there among many photographers that real pros, real photographers, photographers who know what they are doing, they use manual mode. And that beginners should aim to master that mode. You see, when I got started in photography a few years ago, it was with a camera just like this one, a compact point and shoot. My first images sucked, like big time, so I started to do some research online and looking at what other people were saying about how to improve your photography, how to improve your images. And a big part of it was that you needed to be in control of the settings of your camera. I followed that advice and it was a big mistake. I jumped from that point and shoot to this one, to the A6000, that came with a ton of buttons and dials that I could customize and control, you know, all the settings. I could finally bend the camera to my will, I was able to tell it exactly what I wanted it to do. The thing is that I had no idea what I was doing and for many months, for several months, my images were very lacking, were, they were a disaster, technically speaking. They were underexposed, overexposed, they were out of focus because of course I was using a manual lens as well. I was doing everything manually. Over time I got really good at pressing a lot of buttons and turning a lot of dials every time I was going to take a photo. I am sure I looked very professional. But my images were still very lacking and that's when I realized that camera settings don't matter. Of course, there are situations where they do matter, where we must use a specific shutter speed or a specific aperture to create something, some kind of effect, for sure. But at least in my case, for 99% of my images, using an aperture of f2.8 or 5.6 or a shutter speed of 1 60th or 1 200th wouldn't change the image at all. After several months of using manual mode and my photography not improving at all, I started using what Sony calls P mode, it stands for program mode. This is a mode where the camera is in charge of every setting, shutter speed, aperture, ISO, you can still customize it a little bit. So I have a minimum shutter speed of 1 60th, so the camera doesn't go slower than that. And I can limit the ISO range, for example, in APS-C cameras like this one, I have it set between 100 and 3200. For the smaller compact, uh, compact cameras, I have it set up to 1600, so there is not a lot of noise. But it is the camera, the one that decides which aperture and which shutter speed to use in every scene. And I find it perfect for 99% of my images because those settings do not really matter. You can still change those settings if you really need it to. With the dial, you can change the shutter speed and the aperture at the same time, just in case you wanna use a specific shutter speed or a specific aperture, or you can simply switch to aperture or shutter speed priority modes where you can specify, where you can tell the camera which aperture or which shutter speed to use. Once the camera is in control of every setting, I'm free to focus on what matters, that is in framing and composing my image. I'm still in control of one very important thing, the most important thing in my black and white photography, that is the exposure compensation. I use this dial to tell the camera how dark or how bright I want the image to be. This is once again my experience, and I'm sure that your experience will be different, but 99% of my images, the images that I make nowadays, are made in P mode. If I need something more specific, I can always switch to the other two modes. And of course, there is still a place and a time for me to use manual mode, that's when I make my long exposure images, because these cameras can only go up to 30 seconds shutter speed, so if you want to take a long exposure of two minutes, that has to be uh, done in manual mode. My advice here is to take manual mode for what it is, it's just another tool in your belt, and use it wisely. No, you are not more professional because you use manual mode instead of aperture priority mode or even P mode. Even though camera settings matter, sometimes what matters the most is where you point your camera at. And if you're distracted with the settings on your camera, you're not gonna be paying attention to that, to your subject, to the location. And that is the only way to improve your images, to pay attention. This being said, use whatever works best for you. Just don't do something because you are supposed to, because someone else tells you that you are supposed to do it that way. There is no right or wrong way in photography. 
as always, this is just my opinion. This is my truth. It doesn't mean that everyone's truth should be like this. So if you disagree with this or with any video in this channel, please leave a comment down below. We can have a debate. This is going to be all for today. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.